Guys, if you want to run PC games and high-end software without facing any kind of lag, then this video is made just for you. As in this video, I will provide you with a RIP version of Windows 10 that is not only 10 times better than Atlas or Tiny 10, but also comes with some unique features that you won't find in any other OS. And the most exciting part is that installing it is also very easy. You don't need to set it up or choose any kind of language. And you can install it with just one click. So now let's move to the computer screen and understand this whole process practically. Let's roll. First of all, you need to download Rufus and its ISO file. Additionally, if you want to install alongside with your previous windows, then you will also need to create a separate partition as well. Another thing you need to do is to check your PC's partition system to see whether it is based on MBR or GPT. This is the most important step because if you install a GPT based windows on an MBR system, it won't boot. So make sure to double check this. After doing this, open Rufus and then drag and drop the kernel OS ISO file just like this. As soon as you do this, this option will automatically change to GPT. So set it according to your system. Now click on start and the process will begin. And it will take around 15 to 20 minutes to complete. One hour later. After this is complete, you need to restart your PC and then go to the boot menu. Since I have a Dell laptop, so the boot key is F12, but your might be different if you are using from a different brand. Once the pen drive boots up, you will directly land on the partition page. And here, you need to select the partition where you want to install this OS. Make sure the partition you are choosing is completely empty and has a space around 10 GB. Now, click on this button and the installation will start. Once this process is complete, your PC will restart just once and then you will directly land on your windows. This means you won't need to choose a language or set of windows. Everything will happen automatically. And once you are in windows, the command prompt will automatically open. So do not close it and let the final process complete. First, you need to change the language of this operating system. If you don't change it, you might face many problems while typing. Now let's talk about its features. First, you will see some files on the desktop. Among them, there will be a link to Discord as well as Twitter. Additionally, you will find a folder on the desktop containing many files. And we will discuss all of these files one by one. At the top, you will find a folder named Browser from where you can install Chrome and Firefox. Below that, there will be a folder named Tools containing several tools. So let's go through these tools one by one. First, you will find a tool to change the resolution, which you can use to adjust and customize the resolution according to your preference. You can also increase the refresh rate if you want. Additionally, you will find a tool to update your computer drivers. Using this tool, you can easily update all the drivers with just one click and you can fully customize this tool as well. There are many tools in this folder, but discussing all of them isn't possible. So let's move to the next folder. The next folder is called troubleshooting and it also contains many items. Among these, the most important ones are the scripts that you can use to easily disable or enable the main settings of your system. Next is the tweaking folder, which also contains both scripts and apps. If you are an NVIDIA user, you will find a tool for NVIDIA graphic cards. However, since I am not an NVIDIA user, this tool is completely useless for me. After this, when you go into this folder, you will find many registry files. And you can use these files to further tweak your system. But you should use them at your own risk because some of these registry files might not be suitable for you. There are many more tools to discuss but the one I found to be the best is this particular tool because it allows you to easily disable the deepest process of your system. Although you can do this with the help of Task Manager but uh, it doesn't provide you with such advanced features. Normally this tool is available for Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11 but uh, if you don't want to install kernel OS you can download this tool separately and I will provide you with the link. So guys we have reached at the end of the video. I hope you found it helpful and enjoyable. I covered everything in great detail but if there's anything I missed or if you have any kind of confusion feel free to ask me in the comment section. Additionally I have made more videos on the RIP version of Windows 10 and 11 which you can watch by clicking on the playlist on the left and if you want to install Android OS you can click on the playlist on the right. And yeah I will meet you there. Bye.